Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. I had a comment in a YouTube video asking about how to restrict values when you open a keypad or for a number field on a NextGen display. I'm going to go over that in this video. For this example, I just have a text field where I say enter a value from 10 to 99. And I have a number field. For the key value here, which is where we enter the data, you have multiple selections. And in this case, I'm just going to do the numeric keypad. And for this example, we're going to make it so that you can only enter digits between 10 and 99. But if you look at the um, attributes for the number field, there's no way to select that. There's no way to put a min and max value. At least there's none that I've found. So what I did is I've added a keypad. So you can click on it and it'll open this keypad. But in the keypad, since it's built into the NextGen, it also has no way to set any sort of a static value or a min and max value or anything like that. So we're gonna have to do it programmatically. But the interesting thing is when, you, when you're done entering the keypad values, once you hit enter, it refreshes the page or it reloads the page, depending on how you want to phrase it. And so what we can do is we can check for things as we rephrase the page. So if we look at the post initialization event here, I'm going to make this a little bigger. Whenever this page loads, we're going to check. And if N0 is less than 10, we're going to set it equal to 10. And if it's greater than 99, we're going to set it equal to 99. Initially, I have the value set to 0. And I did that on purpose, so when I first load the page, when I run this in debug mode, you'll see it'll instantly get set to 10. We're going to load debug now. You can see that it's set to 10, and if I click on it, I open the keyboard and I try to set it to 5. It stays at 10. But if I set it to 15, it changes it to 15. And if we go up to 90, it changes it to 90. But if we go to 110, holds it at 99. So you can see we didn't really set limits on it. What we'll do is we'll just change the user's data as they input it. So if they input an error state, we just try to correct it. And that seems to work pretty well. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.